everybody. Um, Joan reached out to me this week and asked me if I could just share a living episode about my relationship here at St. Paul's and what it has meant to me. Uh, she gave me a few prompts, and I think the one that hit me the most was about our, our traditions here uh, at St. Paul's and what they mean to me and my family. And uh, I think that I could probably speak an hour on the topic, but you know, I've been here at St. Paul's since the early 2000s, but I figured I'd talk about Holy Week and what that means uh, to me and my family. I'm getting upset thinking about it because, uh, and I'll just, you know, and I'm, forgive me looking at my phone, but that's where my notes are. Um, but, you know, I grew up in a, a Presbyterian church, so we really didn't observe the uh, Holy, uh, Holy Week traditions of Monday, Thursday, Good Friday, or Holy Saturday, and Easter Sunday. And I remember, uh, you know, uh, Thomas and Julie talking about how you had to live through those weeks to really understand the meaning of, of Easter. And um, it couldn't be more true from Monday, Thursday, and the foot washing traditions that we do, and then seeing the stripping of the altar, and hearing Psalm 22, when you hear, Father, Father, why are you so forsaken me? You really feel how Jesus must have felt alone and abandoned by those he loved, and how he still continued. And then on Good Friday, you know, listening through the pain and the suffering of the cross, Holy Saturday, where we um, sustain our faith through listening to our traditions, and um, it makes Easter morning so real. Um, and I've had the pleasure of my children really, uh, you know, getting it. I guess, you know, and not, I, I never had to push them. It was so meaningful for them to participate in this, and with my daughter in the choir. Um, this year it was particularly meaningful for us because my father was put into hospice on, on Monday, Thursday. And so we lived these traditions, we washed each other's feet, which is a very vulnerable experience. Um, and then I think what struck me on Good Friday was, um, and I wrote it down, you know, we went through the Gospel of John last year, and so it said, when Jesus therefore saw his mother and a disciple whom he loved standing by, he said to this mother, woman, behold your son. And he said to the disciple, behold your mother. And from that hour, the disciple took her um, into his own home. And for me, I feel like, in a way, this was my, I feel my father's presence reminding me to sustain my faith, be there for my mother, and be there for my children, and what he would want me to do. Uh, my father passed away on Easter Monday. I knew he was fighting like hell not to die on Easter. Um, but um, it meant a lot to me to be here through those days, um, and um, be there with my uh, my family and the faith that my mother and father have instilled upon me. So um, this is how I guess St. Paul's helps me live my life, make sense of my life sometimes, and uh, for that I'm very grateful. So thank you.